Okay, just a quick, quick little show and tell how I sterilize and reuse my lacquer. These just, just came out of some old pots. Please remember that if you have new lacquer or any new lava rock, any inorganic media, it will be dusty out of the bag. So you need to give it an abundant, abundant wash under the sink or with your garden hose and this, some kind of a strainer where it can just drip through to get all the dust off. As this is reused from previous pot, um, I don't have to do that anymore, but I do need to sterilize it. So thank you very much for joining me on this very, very little quick show and tell on what I do to sterilize my lecker and get it back to being reused. And that includes old mounts. All right, uh, I'd like to use these again, and that's why I'm going to sterilize them at the same time. My water is extremely, extremely hard. I have 350 ppm coming out of the tap. I have a pH of 8.5, sometimes 8.9. So I boil in RO water because I'm going to leach minerals. I don't need to add minerals. And yes, my little plastic mounts go in there too. Eventually, if all this doesn't come off from the boiling and the rub, you know, rubbing against with the lecker, then I can take a little toothbrush and just brush out all the other little imperfections that are in there. So off to the boil this goes. My daughter is the chef in the house. You know, when I'm cooking, it's for the orchids. I'm gonna let it cool down and then I'm going to strain it out. And after all of that rinsing and cleaning, boiling, this is what you should end up with if you have leftover lecker, lava rock uh, that you haven't finished using. Then I recommend just to keep it in a bucket with water. If you have very clean and pure tap water, that's fine. What I mean by that is anything less than 60 parts per million in the water that comes out of your tap. What you've done basically with all the cleaning is remove all the minerals, the dust, the salts. So you don't want to be adding into your lecker with any kind of water that is too hard and then you will be adding minerals again. This way also, it will leach out anything that is still remaining and it'll make everything a little bit more, let's say cleaner, the longer it can soak and remain in water. This is how I store my lecker. I let my lava rock dry out because that's okay. That doesn't retain water, but my lecker, I keep it in this bucket and it has RO water in it. 
You can also use distilled clean water if your tap water isn't suitable and if you don't have a reverse osmosis system. I hope this was helpful and I look forward to seeing you next time on another beginner's guide video. Thank you everybody for watching. Take care. Bye.